looking like a school girl okay hello everybody welcome back to my channel today we will be doing a couple of swatches lipstick swatches from Karen Morel I've never heard of Karen Morel until I went for the Guardian event where they gather a couple of people and then after that they pretty much just introduce us to new products or introduce us to products that they have or they actually sell in source in Guardian itself. So Karen Morel is actually one of the new brands that I believe kind of recently got into Guardian. So during the event, we actually kind of play around with the lipsticks and we kind of swatch and everything. It really does smell like cinnamon. They say that cinnamon is actually one of their main ingredients. Personally, I'm not much of a big cinnamon fan. Like cinnamon itself, I really don't enjoy it. But I think cinnamon with like cinnamon sugar, that's fine. But I'm generally not a cinnamon kind of fan. Putting that aside, that shouldn't affect, I mean that. Technically it is like, it's part of the experience of the lipstick, right? But I also want to talk about like whether the texture or the colors and how is it like and things like that. And also Karen Morel, they actually did mention that they are somewhat of a like a natural brand. They pride themselves for being very um, safe to eat in that kind of term. You know lipstick we kind of eat a lot just unknowingly. Technically we apply on our lips and then just unknowingly throughout the day we kind of eat our lipstick just like that. By the way, I'm still kind of healing from my sore throat and my sickness and stuff like that so I kind of am a little bit harsh, my hor harsh, my voice, I don't know. It sounded a bit weird like I don't sound like me exactly but it's fine, I sound sexier. <laughs> so even their tagline written here, nothing nasty touches my lips. So that's what intrigued me plus their packaging looks so cute. Super gorgeous. I, I love their packaging. I love the way they package it. Pretty very feminine, but at the same time, it's that kind of I can conquer the world kind of feminine kind of packaging. It's just, I just love it. It's just very pretty. The thing is, I don't know how many lipstick they gave us. I think they only gave us three lipsticks. It looks like there's four here, but one of them they have taken out from the packaging. So I don't know what shade they actually gave us. Um, I'll just take out and just swatch it swatch whatever that I have for you guys basically. They do have a lot more. I think they have like 20 over colors there and the colors ranges a lot more towards like the very usual one. Nothing uncommon, nothing unusual. Typical red, pinks, nude. If anything a little bit out of the blue would be not really blue. <laughs> it's more of like purple, like bright purple kind of thing. Um, so it's just very, I would say, office appropriate, very easily worn every single day kind of thing. So anyone out there, if you, you know, just started off in lipstick or even you're not very adventurous when it comes to lipstick, definitely there will be a shade for you there lah, basically. So I'm going to open this up. I hope I don't need scissors, so I don't have to go and get my scissors. And the other day when I was trying out the lipstick, they are actually very, very moisturizing, very easy to glide on, very easy to wear. It's just a very regular, typical, classic lipstick, okay? They are nothing extraordinary other than, you know, they claim themselves being a natural lipstick and also other than it smells super, super heavily like cinnamon that I don't enjoy. Packaging is just so pretty that I feel that it's so, it's so suitable as a, like a stocking stuffer or even a gift. Kissed by natural beauty, yes. I think the packaging of this kind of reflects a little bit of what the inside lipstick color would be like. So like this one, the green color one, it's more of just like a lip balm. So I guess they gave us a lip balm. Yes, they do have one just pure lip balm just no color and just plain okay sandstorm this one i think is more of a nude shade you can tell i got my nasi lemak nails on <laughs> these are like nail wraps from um i forgot what's the name of the shop but i mean i will link it somewhere so now i actually have some cucumbers eggs chilies banana leaves on my nails okay so this one is in peony petal this is how the lipstick look like just a very black, simple black packaging um, with a little bit of a logo here on top there. And also at the bottom, they do have the sticker to show like what lipstick this is and also the expiry date and things like that because nobody keeps their packaging even though this packaging is gorgeous. But I don't think, I don't think anybody's going to keep this packaging, okay? It's just too cute but I just don't keep packaging anymore these days. I used to keep all the packaging but I just ran out of a space to keep packaging so yeah, I'd rather keep the product itself. They did mention to us that this one is like an old packaging. And moving forward, I think they already have like one sample for us doing the kind of event. 
they showed us like the gold packaging so i think moving forward they're gonna change once they sold out all this black packaging in malaysia or something like that they are gonna change up their packaging and it's gonna be like a gold very nice um luxurious gold kind of packaging it will look very 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 pretty even this black packaging i think is pretty sleek but i do understand if they want to be able to market it better these days packaging is very important oh look at that such a pretty shade these lipsticks are not the type that will stain your lips so you don't have to worry about it staining your lips if you hate that kind of thing like this you cannot smell the cinnamon but if you get up close you can actually really smell the cinnamon it's quite quite that you can actually smell it i didn't like moisturize my lips or anything it's just it's just like that you can actually open up from like the top here you really don't need to take out the sticker here and try to open up the whole packaging this is the clear one pretty much like a regular lip balm this one doesn't smell that strongly of cinnamon at all sandstorm a very brown nude i'm gonna start with just a balm first all right and just gonna show you how the balm looks like like most lipsticks, you need to break into the first layer first. Obviously, it doesn't look of anything. It doesn't have any shade. It's just a very moisturizing lip balm. Definitely, definitely very moisturizing. Feels good. Let me taste. It doesn't taste of anything. I'm gonna apply Sandstorm on my lips. I think these are the kind of lipstick that are very forgiving. So you don't really need like a mirror also if you don't need to. Because you, this is not the type of Oh my god, it smells like cinnamon. I cannot. I think I realized that even I apply on, I can smell the cinnamon. I don't think I enjoy that cinnamon smell as much. Oh, this is too light. Okay, I thought this is gonna be like a darker kind of brown nude shade. It's not, so I don't think my mom will enjoy this shade. Feels as creamy and as moisturizing as the lip balm earlier on. It's a very pretty shade. Like for me, it suits me. Most lipstick kind of suit my skin tone or suit my looks because I'm so fair. So it's quite easy to guess match or it's quite easy to get any lipstick to suit me. I don't think a lot of people will enjoy this kind of shade. But it's such a pretty shade. I mean, for me, it's such a pretty shade. That is such a 90s kind of thing. Only 90s kids will understand. Makes you look very young as well. I just love, I love this kind of shade. Um, but I understand not many people will enjoy this kind of shade. But I'm just going to show you this shade. I can smell a little bit of the cinnamon. I think it will go away after a while. But not so fast. Let me taste. No. It just tastes like beeswax. <laughs> I'm going to remove it. Next up, I'm gonna try Puny Petals. This one is a little bit more of a corally shade. Again, you just gotta break the outer shell kind of wax. Once you break through that, it's very easy to apply, very easy to glide on, just like most lipstick. Oh, this shade is so much pinker than I thought. I mean, the representation from the cube itself to the lips is a little bit different. I thought it's gonna be very corally. Oh, this color is even more 90s, man. This is so bring it on. Oh, that scent, I cannot again. Like when I when I breathe in, when I talk, I breathe in through my mouth that time, I can actually smell the cinnamon and I'm just not the biggest fan of that. If you like cinnamon, then yes, this will be great for you. You will enjoy this so, so, so much. It feels more of like, okay, that's like a lip balm on my lips. It just really feels like lip balm on my lips, okay? Because of the consistency of it, because of the nature of this lipstick, it's a little bit hard to get it like not patchy. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit hard to get it like super even looking. Sometimes the, the colors kind of glide everywhere and there's just some streaks where you there's like less color, less pigment, and some streaks has you know an extra layer of pigment there. So it's just the nature of this lip balm. Lip balms are mostly like that. Color lip balms are mostly like that. This is Peony Petal. It's definitely very pretty, the shade, but it's not in trend right now. This shade is just not in trend right now. Only those like bomb diggities will actually wear these kind of shades. <laughs> Bob Diggities, oh my gosh, I've not used that term for the longest time. That's pretty much it for me because I only have three shades for to swatch for you guys. They didn't give, like, not really even three shades, I think there's only like two shades and one balm. So I only have three lipsticks to swatch for you guys. I still do this kind of video because I still want you guys to kind of at least get to know the brand or just to be more aware of brands in general so you guys have more like choices. It's, it's hard, it's not easy when you start a brand, it's never easy so 
it's always good to like support this new brand so that especially if their products are not terrible and uh, i would say that their product is actually pretty good it's just that maybe not so much for me because i don't enjoy the cinnamon scent but if people who enjoy cinnamon scent will enjoy this lipstick so so much i love that they are trying to educate people that you know what lipstick that has zero nasty in it is possible to be made i hope you enjoy watching this video i hope you learned something i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye